share with you guys what I have actually seen, my experience for these 12 years. Yes. So I'm going to tell you guys the ones I enjoy and another video will be the ones I don't like, the ones I do not enjoy. So. Welcome back to my channel. It's okay on my triplets on the building. If you're new here, you are highly welcome. Please consider subscribing. You are going to enjoy it here with us, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. And for my returning subscribers, you all are amazing. Thank you so much for your time, for your support. I will never take your time for granted. God bless you all for me. So guys, in today's video, I will be telling you guys what I enjoy in abroad, what I enjoy staying in abroad. I've actually stayed here in Italy for 12 years now. I'm here to share with you guys what I have actually seen, my experience for these 12 years. Yes. So I'm going to tell you guys the ones I enjoy and another video will be the ones I don't like, the ones I do not enjoy. So the first one is actually no noise. Everywhere is calm. No noise. Everywhere, when I say noise, as an unnecessary noise, okay? Everywhere is just calm. Unnecessary noise, okay, let me just give you an example. In Nigeria, just on the road, just for you to just, just go to the market, eh? You see the way you'll be hearing beep, 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 boom, beep, 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 beep. Like, eh? Every little thing. Keke is doing beep, beep, beep. Uh, this one is doing horn everywhere. That one is actually noise, excess noise. Here it's not like that. Before you see a driver, eh? Press the hand on the horn and say beep. That means there is something urgent. There is something, there is so that it is needed. Okay? It's not like in Nigeria. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm just telling you people. Uh, I was in Nigeria for years before I traveled to this place. So I'm just trying to compare, to tell you guys what I enjoy here that I don't enjoy in my country. So the number one is noise. Everywhere is calm. We, we are not staying in city, 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 okay? Everywhere is just calm, okay? Everywhere is calm. Every, any noise you hear, just stress that noise. It's what it is. It's not unnecessary noise. So everywhere is calm and relaxed. The next one is peace of mind. I have peace of mind staying in this country. I've stayed here for years, you know. So I have peace of mind staying here. Example of peace of mind I mean is actually in the night, 2 a.m. I can actually start going out. I can actually dress up and go out by 2 a.m. Midnight, I can just take a walk around our streets by 2, 12 midnight, by 2, uh, 2 a.m., 1 a.m., I can actually take a walk, okay? I can take a walk and go around without any fear, without any disturbance, just peace of mind, and I'll just go around and come inside my room without thinking of someone kidnapping me, without thinking of someone hitting me, without thinking of someone beating me, without thinking of anything. So I can actually go around and come inside my house without anyone stopping me on the road, without any fear of uh, seeing ghosts. <laughs> because in Nigeria, when I was in Nigeria, even from 8, 8 p.m., you can't even go out, 9 o'clock, if you didn't see ghosts, you'll be fearing kidnappers, you'll be fearing thief, you'll be fearing many things. So you will not even have that rest of mind. So that is what I enjoy here. That rest of mind that I can actually move freely, go out freely, and come inside the house freely. That is another point. So the next one is no disturbance. Here in Iro, okay, is one of the things I enjoy. Like no one would just just knock on my door and come to my house. No, it doesn't I don't mean guy here, man. It will never happen. So before someone will visit you, the person will actually give you notice. The person will call you and tell you, oh, I'm coming to your house next week. I'll be in your house by weekend. Or I will come to your house by 3 p.m. The person will actually tell you the day, the time, the, the hour the person is coming so that you will be ready for that person. Unlike in Nigeria, where I come from, you'll just be taking your shell and someone will just knock on your door. Maybe a friend, maybe your sister, maybe your brother, someone just... No, without you knowing that the person is coming, like you will just dress up from your house. You are going to visit someone without even telling that person that, oh, I'm coming to your house. So, so the person will know. You will just, on your own, eh? as you are just relaxing in your house in Nigeria, you just pick me up and see someone knocking and that's it. No notice, no nothing, no information. Like the last time we traveled to Nigeria, you can't even rest. Before you say you want to take a nap, 
Someone will, they will just come and wake you. Until someone is looking for you. Until someone has come to visit you. Until someone has said he's looking for you. Until someone is asking of you. As, there's no how you will sleep in peace. You cannot even sleep in peace. But yeah, if you want to sleep, you sleep. If you, as of like today, and I know that no one is coming to my house. No one is visiting me today, okay? If anyone is coming, they will actually call me on phone and tell me that, ah, I will come to your house by 7 p.m. I'll come to your house by 1 p.m. And then I'll wait for that person. And when it is that time, you will see the person. No African time. Not that the person will tell you 1 p.m. The person will come by 4. No. The person will tell you time and the person will come at that time. That is one of the things I enjoy here in Italy, okay? The next one is time is money here. Time is money. Yeah, they pay you according to how you work, okay? If you work for 10 hours, you get your money. You work for 4 hours, you get your money. You work for 8 hours, you get your money. The hours you work is the hours they will pay you, okay? They are going to pay you according to your hours. That is why they say time is money. In where I come from, time is not money. Like, <laughs> let me just continue. Time is money here and it's very... It's very sweet. Like you are going out in the morning, you know that you are going to work for eight hours and your money will be waiting for you at the, at the end of the month, okay? You are going to cash in your money at the end of the month. If you are working for six hours, they are going to pay you for that six hours. If you are working for four hours, they are going to so no cheating. If you work big, you get big. You work small, you get small. So I like it that way. That is one of the things I enjoy here in Europe. The next one is good education. I like the system of education. Ah! How can I even say this one now? It's supposed to be the first one. I like the system of education. Like the way my children are going to school, the way they teach them, the way when they teach a child something, even if that child is sleeping, wake that child up from sleep. The, person, the child, just ask that child the same question. The child will answer you correctly. They know how to impart knowledge on children. They know how to teach children, okay? I'm talking about children because I have my children that are going to school. So when they come back from school, the way they will be explaining to me, okay, the way as in my, my son will be telling me how to go to the space, as in the things you need to prepare, how to do this, how to do that. He will be telling me animals and the time they sleep, the time they eat, the time they die, the time they are born, as in he will just be telling you everything, everything. Like I'll be like, oh, this boy, you're just in primary four. Are you not all these things? Like seriously? <laughs> So I like their system of education here. They teach very well. They don't teach you to cram. They to, to cram, okay? They teach you to understand, to know it. Anywhere you go, when they call you, eh, you stand and say that thing. That is teaching. Teaching. They teach very well. So I like their system of education. That is another point. The next one is minding your business. They mind their business. If I tell you that here, this building where we are staying. I don't know half of the people here. You will not believe this. I don't know half of the people here. Maybe they might know me because we are the only black living here. Okay, so maybe they know me. Yeah, that one is certain. But me knowing them all, I don't know them. I know few, okay? How? I don't go to their houses, okay? They don't come to my house. Okay, we'll have just one or two that normally visit us and we we'll visit them. But... Not always. It's just maybe once in a month or something. It's not even always. Unlike my country, unlike hey, you will know your neighbors, you know your street people. Like you gossip, you have time to talk. Hey, you don't see. She, you know, hey, she bought a new a new cow. Hey, that one, she bought a new dress. You don't see that trouser. It's new. I've not seen her wear that trouser before. You see, just look at her hair. She wants a new hair. We don't have that time here. Like you, you are going out. You go from your house, enter your car, or if you are taking a train or bus, just take it and go your way. No time for time is money. So just you minding your business. It is sweet to me. I like it. <laughs> the last one for this video is government. I've talked about the security aspect of it, the money aspect of it, that was the sweet, and the other things. Okay, but now I want to talk about the government. Hey guys, the way government treats people, like their law here is favorable. Their law, they work. Not be say country gets law, but the law, not they work. Now, not the country where they talk to Abi, uh, but yeah, they have law and the law works, okay? They have many ways to help families that are less privileged. They have many ways to help people, okay? If you're in a, in a tight situation, they have a particular package for you to help you in that situation. As in the way the government systemizes everything, you will not even know 
poor people, you don't know rich people, because the same supermarket where rich people goes to buy things, that is also where the poor goes to buy things. So how will you know poor and rich? The same car you are driving, if I want to drive it today, I will say drive it, I will just go and get a loan and then get that car, okay? So the same building you are saying, if I want to stay in that building, I will just go and get a loan and stay in that building and be paying it instrumentally. You know, the only thing is just get a work. If you are working, you are covered. You can buy anything. As far as you are working, you have your contract of work. You can actually buy and enjoy your life. What else do you want? If you have government that is working, government where they work, government where they serve it, what are you then bothering yourself for? Everything is systemized. Everything is okay. Everything is going accordingly. Accordingly. If you fuck up, they treat it. If you fuck up, they treat your fuck up. They don't tolerate nonsense, okay? No bribing, no corruption. The way they judge you, the way they judge me. The way they see you, the way they see me. And one thing, that the same one law is for everybody, not for some people, for rich and the, the poor have their own. No, that the same law is for both the rich and the poor. What other thing do we want? The government is working perfectly well. When it comes to school, School is okay, okay, they pay the teachers, nothing like a strike, here yes, strike there. And when it comes to transportation, everything is working perfectly, okay. When it comes to, everything is well organized, guys. Like your child is going to the same school with a rich man, but no one knows how much you are paying. No one knows. You pay your child's fee according to your income, but they go to the same school, but you pay according to your income. What else are we looking for? Like your child is going to the same school where a big man is also, the, the child of a big man is also going and you pay, for example, your salary is low, you pay 100 euro. Why the rich man, the, his salary is big and he pays 1000 euro. But your child and his child, they are attending the same school and they are actually getting the same knowledge. They are actually doing the same thing. Ah, which other thing do you want? Which other thing do you want? And apart from that, government also have benefit for children. So any child that is born here has benefits. Maybe I will make another video to tell you guys some benefits you can actually gain if you are living here in Italy. That is it for this video, guys. I hope to see you in another interesting video. If you haven't subscribed, what are you still waiting for? Just go and subscribe and I will see you in another interesting video. Thank you and bye for now. Ciao, ciao.